Welcome to California Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. We are joining you from the Cannon House Office Building in Washington, D.C., and we are joined by Scott Peters, one of the newest members of the United States Congress, representing significant portions of San Diego County. How's your new job? Well, it's great. It's quite an honor to be here. Uh, and I came with the attitude that many of the people in my first year class came with, which was uh, we're here to solve problems, to fix, not fight. And uh, that's what I'm about. How's that going for you? Well, I'd say mixed results. I like I said, I, you know, I've joined a group called No Labels uh, uh, that's designed to create new rules for Congress to make us more responsive to a 21st century world and it's more global. And I um, recently spoke with Mr. Lowenthal, also right. a new member of Congress, and he is part of that caucus. And he right. similarly is a bit bullish about it, feels as if we can move forward, but uh, uh, tremendous challenges in a in a polarized environment. Like I say, 20% of the Congress is brand new. We all, have, we all got the same message from voters in November, which is to start working together. So that's what we're about. And if we can t keep that, um, that mission in our heads and help push that up to leadership, I think we can have an effect over time. Let's talk about one issue that is seriously impacting San Diego County as an example, and that's the sequester, right. uh, whereby there are, some are calling draconian cuts and specifically to the defense industry. It's the industry that's being hit the hardest, especially in 2013, because right. there is a year of cuts in this uh, one, in, the, in a nine month period. How is the defense industry doing in San Diego? Well, you know, our economy in San Diego is driven by three drivers. One is tourism, one is defense, which is about a quarter of our jobs, right. and the other is the innovation economy around uh, telecom and, um, and biotechnology research. Uh, so it's very important to us, and the sequester is, is very damaging. Um, first, because of the cuts, those are difficult in themselves, but also they're not related to the mission. The problem with the sequester, which was this 2011 invention when they couldn't come to an agreement, was it cuts every line item in the budget. So it has nothing to do with the mission, and the admirals and the generals are really frustrated that we would, uh, we would make those cuts that way, not give them flexibility on how to adjust it according to the mission, and also these contractors who have uh, you know, are not really quite sure about how their, uh, how their work is going to go. They can't make plans. So we, we did a temporary fix that will last for a few months, but this comes back to, 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 to bite us again in, in October. We have to sit down like the people would like us to do and do a real budget. But when you look at what's happening in Congress, there's not a lot of discussion about the sequester. There's a lot of discussion about immigration right. or gun control. It seems to have fallen off. I mean, could it be because the markets aren't responding negatively? You don't see a big hue and cry. Yes, the air controller, air traffic controllers issue got a big uh, scream out. Well, and we're putting duct tape on each of these things as they come along. But listen, when I go home to the district, and uh, we have a district work week about once a month, I was just there. Uh, they're talking about the sequester and what's are striking they? oh absolutely what that what's striking to me and i'm talking to people who are laid off people who don't know if they're going to have jobs because their company's not sure what's going to happen uh, and what strikes me about washington is how disconnected this place still is from what's happening to, to everyday americans but what i'm wondering is because san diego is so tied to the defense industry if you are hearing a viewpoint that is unique as it relates to other members of congress other members that may not have defense industry in their district may not be hearing that hue and cry about the sequester. And so it becomes difficult to move the needle. Uh, well, I'm not sure why it is, but I'll tell you that the, I think it's more than that because I just think that the politics has so locked up this place. We finally, I ran on something called no budget, no pay, the idea that if you don't pass a budget, Congress shouldn't get paid. We got the Senate to pass their budget, and now both sides aren't appointing the conferees that would come mm -hmm. together and work those things out. That's what we need to have happen. So we get past these kinds of things like the sequester, which was supposed to be so bad it would never happen. His name is Scott Peters. He is a member of the United States Congress representing significant portions of San Diego County. My name is Brad Pomerantz. This is California Edition.